Hi, this is uh, Flix again. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick tutorial on how to create an alpha channel because there's been a lot of uh, people having trouble with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file. I'm going to make it 512 by 512. It's just a simple one. And this is my working space. Now my working space here, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of um, basic shapes. We'll make them different colors just to uh, show you the different colors here. Hey, right there, there was just duplicated it. All right, and I will move it over here, and I'll just make this one. I'll make this one a blue one. It doesn't matter, and I will just make a green circle in the center. And we'll change that color to green. This is really quick. All right, so that's my basic shape that I'm going to um, go ahead and. Uh, uh, turn into an alpha layer. Now what is an alpha layer? An alpha layer is something in Second Life that will take away the background and leave just the graphics. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the channels here. Actually first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate all of these. So I've select, I've held shift down and I've selected the all four at once. I right click, hit duplicate, duplicate them, and then we're set. This is, I'll explain why we're doing this in just a second. So we go to channels really quick. Now this is my channels. You'll notice that I have the, the RGB. I have the red, green, and blue, which is just showing the different colors of the, uh, the spectrum. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here where it says create new channel. I'm going to create a channel that is my alpha layer. Anything that is black in this alpha layer will come back as completely 100% black, or uh, alpha out. In other words, it'll be clear if I was to do this right now. Um, if it's not, then it'll come back. If it's white, it'll come back completely opaque. So that's that's our basics. So what I'm going to do here with these is I'm going to turn these into different colors. So the white, this one here, we're going to make completely white. This one here, we're going to go as a half tone. We'll just go like about 30% there. And this one here will go about like that. Now the reason I'm doing these in those colors and we're going to go ahead and change this background color to full black. Alright, so now if I was to create this alpha channel as it is right now, the green circle in the center would be completely opaque on, on Second Life. The gray would be about, that's about 60% opaque, and then this one here would be about 20% opaque. So this one will be a lot thicker than this one. But that's it. That's all there is to a channel. Then we're going to take all this, we're going to so we're going to select all that. We're going to select it all. So we select the entire image. We're going to copy merged because that's what we want. So we want to copy all the merged pieces. We're going to go to channel, go to the alpha channel, and we're going to paste it. And then it puts down our exact copy. So now we have an alpha channel of what our whole thing is going to be. Now we take those layers there. We pull them down. Actually, we're just going to turn them off. So we turn them off like that. We go to File, we save as a Targa. There, boom, Targa saved. And we'll call this Test 1. And there you go, it's saved as 32-bit. There's a target for you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys coming. And I forgot how to turn this off. So we'll stop it at F10. Have a good night.